kiambiwa msipo jihadhari msipo jikakamua mjue kuna jamaa ameenda kwa mahakama e, ni yao ni kujaribu wakimbize mambo yao iwe ni Kenya kwanza peke yao ambao watakaweunda tume mpya ya IBC hilo halikubaliki na kama wataendelea na hiyo route bila shaka tutajua kwamba wameamua kurig elections hata kabla wenyewe kufanyika and Kenyans are fed up and tired of election rigging Kenyans who come out the Senegalese in the recent past <laughs> pekemea hawa watu wa Kenya kwanza Bomet Kericho wa Kenya tayari wako kwa mitaa so this time itakuwa ni, ni viongozi wenyewe kujiunga na wananchi lakini kabla hiyo fanyike bado kuna nafasi nafasi ya kuonyesha kwa mara ya kwanza kwanza kuna nia njema ya kujaribu kutekeleza kikamilifu makubaliano ya National Dialogue Committee bila mtu yeyote kujaribu kuleta uhasama huko katikati so hiyo ni juu ya nadiko wao kidhubutu kuweka makamishi na wao kufanya nini na ndio mimi jana nikasema sasa ni jukumu jukumu la wale ambao waliteua kamati ya nadiko aso ndugu Raila Amolo Odinga na mwenzake Rais William Ruto wao wao wajitokeze watoe mwelekeo bila kusita kwa sababu tutaona kama walitutumia vibaya wasipofanya hivyo Aa. sasa mambo hii fake fertilizer imeendelea sijui kebs sijui nani we would have expected kama kuna nia ya kupigana na ofisadi wa aina hii na ijulikane kwamba Kenya kwanza walikuwa na two pet projects ya kwanza kwamba ni fertilizer eh tena ime, angawaje imetoka urusi na wakutaja eh, eh, sema sasa b imeshuka kutoka shilingi 6500 sasa ni shilingi 2500 kumbe ni fake kumbe ni fertilizer imechanganywa na, na, na mafi ya ya, kon, ya punda <laughs> maajabu ya mawe sijui kama ni limestone mengine kafanana so kweli kungekuwa na nia tena ya kupigana na ofisadi na hii waziri usika angekuwa tayari amepeleka ame barua yenyewe kujuzulu that is what other people do in democracies if indeed we still pretend we are democracy in this country juu ya swala la umuhimu wa uhuru wa uandishi wa habari wana habari kama sio washikadao hawa ambao waliaza mmoja akasema kule kwamba sasa hii hii ni serikali ya stakeholders <laughs> pengine waliwachukieni wakati huo kutoka wakati ule na hali twajua kwamba Mungu alituweka sisi zote Kenya hii wa Kristo wa Waislamu wasioenda kanisani <laughs> wa wahin, Hindu wengine tabaka mbalimbali nchi yetu ndio hii na kwa hivyo waandishi wa habari wanapodhulumiwa ni dhuluma sio tu dhidi ya waandishi wa habari wenyewe mbali pia Kenya nzima tumeona tabia basi kupeana paid advertisements because that's how you make your money the media owners media owners unikubali nseme royal citizen kwa mfano walikuwa upande wa azimio and they didn't fear it they have their right to express themselves sasa wao lazima sasa because the biggest media house tukubali lazima sasa wadhulumiwe wavinyiliwe eh sasa paid advertisements ndanda kwa kila nani star lazima tuulize mshikadao wa star newspaper ni up what is the level of circulation ya hiyo star newspaper hey jameni nation media vile vile dhuluma dhuluma hampati lolote ni umefika wakati waandishi wa habari na nyinyi 
mwelekee kwa mitaa <laughs> kama wa Kenya wenzenu madaktari tayari yuko kwa mitaa madaktari hawa kama ambavyo nitangulia kusema so pengine wataanza sasa kwenda individually against them against killer media person uhuru wa, wa, wa magazeti uhuru wa kutoa e, kufanya expression kama vile uhuru wa maandamano uhuru wa kujiunga na vikundi uhuru wa kupiket uh, tutaki tena kurudia article 37 ya katiba yetu 2010 kama sio katiba 2010 injinge kuwa mahali pabaya sana chini ya utawala wa Kenya kwanza ingekuwa mambo mengine kabisa lakini bado tuwakumbushe kwamba kuna katiba ingawaje wengine waliipinga lakini bado ndio iliwazuilia hawa wangekuwa pengine hawajafikia huko saa jambo hilo la mwisho basi ufisadi ufisadi kila mahali ufisadi sasa tumeona jama ya ufisadi mwingine hali ya juu sana so kama vijana hata chukua vitambulisho that is pre rigging the election again pre rigging kwa hivyo lazima tuambie mapema wakubali vijana kijana yote mwanamke msichana kwa kijana ambaye amehitimu amefikisha umri wa miaka minane apatue ID unconditionally na aende ajiandikishe kama mpiga kura because this is a continuation kwa hivyo tunahisi before the next elections registered Kenyans should be about 30 million lakini vile wanavinyilia eh na pia atakuwa anaangalia huku hapa hapa atupendwe hapa wanavinyilia zaidi atutakubali tutaenda mitaani tena fisadi ndio huo we saw the index the amount of money you pay to get uh, what is properly your right kama mwananchi wa Kenya has gone up hata hata eh, nadhani various ministries am wahusika wametajwa kiwazi wazi so it's about time either we, we stop singing about corruption and do something else because it's like Kenyans have become immune